to regulate the labor law market and adapt modern work practices. His Majesty the Sultan issued Royal Decree Number 53 over 2023 on enacting provisions of the labor law. The new labor law seeks to foster an environment that positively responds to changes through legislation that is flexible, resilient, efficient and adapts at managing current and future challenges. The new labor law, which have been uh, issued by Royal Degree today, it's uh, excellent uh, support for the both the private sector and to the labor market to enhance the workmanship uh, in the private sector. I think it's uh, supporting all the companies uh, and the labor to get a chance to get uh, proper jobs and proper. Uh, rules and the facilities for them. The new labor law is a result of a nationwide initiative involving various production stakeholders, employers and workers, as well as specialized entities. The law, structured into 10 sections, provides a comprehensive oversight on employment regulations, contracts and obligations between employers and workers. It grants numerous benefits to working women, introduces a variety of privileges for the employer and it implemented a fresh leave provision visions, bearing in mind the social aspects of the worker with the objectives of enhancing their productivity and overall performance. Main uh, responsibility for this law to be competent and to be attractive for uh, either local investors or international, law, in, international investors. Uh, it is also futuristic and uh, uh, coping with uh, all uh, updates in the global uh, environments, especially which is relevant to uh, labor market. Uh, and also uh, I'm expecting that we have to be competent with other environments. Otherwise we cannot uh, attract other investors if we are not coping with uh, the global environment. It is worth noting that the law underwent multiple stages of preparation before it was finally enacted through a royal decree. Initially, the draft law was showcased to the three production parties. Following this, a workshop concerning the draft law was conducted. The revised draft was then submitted to the relevant governmental authorities. Subsequently, the proposed law was forwarded to Oman Council and it underwent its legislated cycle of review.